Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use ClickUp like a digital planner. So it does have a calendar feature inside of there. I don't know if anyone knows that. And the best part is it integrates directly with Google Calendar, which if you're not using Google Calendar, I don't know why not, it's so convenient. I have an iPhone, I'm not even an Android user, but it's very like, easy to use and set up and get yourself notifications. Plus I get notifications on my Apple Watch. So all of that wonderful like notification goodness can start coming to you directly from ClickUp. So you can actually coordinate all of your projects, your to-do lists, um, your annual recurring fees. All of those things can just now be centrally housed in one location, which is ClickUp. And then you can coordinate it with the calendar feature inside of there, like a digital planner, and have it sent to yourself. So let's do that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. So I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. Before we start, I wanted to mention that there is an app for ClickUp inside of the iPad and Android. It works for either one. And it's very streamlined to make it more efficient for mobile. So if I click on calendar, two things. One, I will only see ClickUp events, and that is because it is streamlined on purpose to be very efficient. Uh, you can see all the details. Obviously, I didn't write any details, but if I had a to-do list or any subtasks or anything, I could see them inside of here. However, um, this is not probably the experience you're looking for for a digital planner, but I just wanted you to be aware that you can access ClickUp via the ClickUp app. Um, I'm just trying to show you something a little different if you like that full page sort of digital planner layout. All right, in order for this magic to happen, you are going to need three different apps. You're gonna need ClickUp, and don't worry, the free version will work just great. You're going to need Google Calendar, and you'll need Artful Agenda. Now, I know a lot of people prefer Pencil Planner, but 100%, I could not get this to work for me. I tried multiple times, I called support, I even wiped out my entire iPad to try it again. I tried it on my friend's iPad and on Ben's, and it just wouldn't work for me. But if it works for you, I think that's great. It has the ability to actually draw inside the planner and I'm gonna say supposedly because I was never never able to get it to do anything okay so back to the beginning step one is inside of ClickUp all you have to do is go down here to the bottom left and you're gonna connect ClickUp to your Google Calendar so go ahead and click integrations scroll all the way to the bottom until you see calendar and then Google has a two-way sync. So that's why I said Google, you know, Apple and Outlook, it only does a one-way sync, but we want it to go back and forth whenever we make changes. So we're gonna click add account and we're gonna have to sync both ways. So from Google Calendar to ClickUp, we're gonna say next, we're going to add a new account, Lisa at prettyfabulousdesigns.com. We're gonna click allow and next, and we're all set. And then we're gonna do that all over again for the second option. So make sure, it's a really, really faint line here. So make sure that you have the second one selected. And then you are going to go ahead and connect that same account. Say allow. And then we're gonna sync everything. Um, and again, you might have different calendars inside of there. I just have one. And as you can see, I thought pencil would be successful, but it was not. Um, but that's what I labeled it. And then I just said syncs to everything. So inside of ClickUp, you can sync it to just certain spaces or just folders or lists. Um, but I'm a team of one. And so it's just me. Also, you can only select tasks that are assigned to you. Now, Again, like I said, I'm a sole entrepreneur. I'm the only one using ClickUp, so I'm just gonna say all tasks because I didn't actually assign any tasks to myself. You actually have to go into ClickUp and assign tasks to a person. I did not do that. What's the point? It's just me. If I don't do it, no one else is gonna do it. So that's what we have. All right, so now I can see that it's syncing from Google Calendar to ClickUp and then from ClickUp to Google Calendar. So we are all good over here. So we're gonna go back into ClickUp. So the next step is to make sure that you add start dates and or due dates to everything if you want them to show up here on your Google Calendar. So you can see these little tiny items in blue weren't there before. I don't know if you remember, but they weren't. And so that's because I gave them dates. So let's just go back here. Record, click Cricut Setup. Um, it has a start date of May 22nd at 8 a.m. So if I go over here to May 22nd at 8 a.m., I can see Record Cricut setup. And if I open this, I can see that this will take me right to that 
agenda item inside of ClickUp. So if I had written something here that says, um, you know, make sure to show the entire uh, setup from beginning to end for the Maker 3, then um, you would be able to see that inside of here uh, if I had added that in or if I'd added any subtasks or anything else, right? So it gives you the details if you wanna start drilling down. Um, now you can't see the start date over here. So what I could do is I could add a column, go to show hide and where's that start date? I can add that over here. And so now I can see the start date. Obviously it should come before due date. That makes the most logical sense. So I just drag that column over to move it over here. So we have uh, Sunday at 8 a.m. And then we also have Sunday at 2 p.m. record Cricut hack for full page stickers. So if I look back at my schedule, I could see record Cricut hack for full page stickers at 2 p.m. Now, how do you add those to any item? So if I added a new task inside of here and let's call it um, create, sticker designs, right? So I'm gonna save this, has no dates associated start or end. So if I click either of these, it doesn't matter which one. Um, and let's say I'm just gonna assign it to next Thursday. Thursday, how about Friday? I'm just clicking everything now. Okay, so we're gonna say next Thursday. And if I say no time, it'll show as an all day occurrence, but I don't really want that. So I'm gonna add a time. I'd really like it to show up in my schedule right at, let's say 9 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. So then I know to start working on that right away. So I'm gonna say close. And so now I can see it's on the 27th at 9.30 a.m. So if I go into here, I can see create sticker designs, 9.30 a.m. It was like that easy. So um, I'm all set. So everything in my Google Calendar is now in ClickUp. So I will show you that. If I click Calendar View here at the top, I can see all of my items from Google Calendar as well as my Click it, ClickUp tasks so that they're all together now. Um, so I'm all set on those two. So over here at Artful Agenda, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see that it is $35, uh, but when you, when you click Start Your Free Trial, it'll give you um, a two week free trial for Artful Agenda. So go ahead and sign up. I wish I had a referral code for you, but I don't. Um, so just go ahead and sign up and let's go jump it over to the iPad. So head to the App Store and just type in Artful Agenda and it should be the first one that pops up. I've already downloaded it, so we'll say open instead of download. And you can see your whole week at a glance. So you have a few different views. You have month, uh, you have week, you have day, you have lists, and you also, let's go back to month, you have stickers. I don't know why stickers disappeared over there. But if I wanted to add a sticker in here, like this cute little kitty cat, you just drag and drop it anywhere you want inside of your planner to help make it look a little prettier. Uh, you can do the same thing on the week view. You can drop these in wherever you want and it will keep it there. Now, um, something to note, you can't use the Apple Pencil. So over here, it is, these are just settings. Um, so when it says choose handwriting, it just means choose which font you want. So if, whenever I type, I can make it look like it's kind of handwriting. So that's why I chose that one. Uh, and then over here for choose cover, if you don't like that background, she has a couple other different settings inside of here that you could choose from. So let's say, um, I don't even know. I really like this color for one. I could just say select cover, go back, um, close this down and then you can see the border has changed. So now it's like a rainbow color um, over here. But you can change this on the fly whenever you feel like it and just keep changing it around. If you want something a little bit more muted like this one, just say select cover, go back and voila, it is done. So a couple different things. Um, all of these apps, this one, Pencil Planner, uh, there were a couple other ones I tried out that all said you could write with the uh, Apple Pencil. 100% all of them failed. I'm not really sure what's going on um, or why that is, but you can pretty much only, um, you can only use the um, type pad. And that's it. <laughs> so...
<laughs> that's kind of what's happening. So let's go to day. You can actually add stuff. So that little pencil, I know you're so excited. I saw the pencil, I got so excited. First of all, it doesn't even recognize the Apple Pencil on here anywhere. I'm not sure why that is. But the nice thing though is like water intake. As you drink water, it just keeps going up. So let's go to uh, Friday and Friday. As I drink water, you can see it just keeps getting darker and darker. So it's a pretty easy way to track water intake. I think that's cute. Um, over here, like your custom list, you can say my super list. And so it's a little weird because when you go to type, you can't actually see what you're typing. Oh, I lie. You can pull it up. Um, so my super list is go to the movies. And I can say next. And so see how it automatically creates a checklist for you? Um, get popcorn. Next. Um, get vanilla Coke. That probably doesn't sound very good, right? <laughs> but usually they have those big machines at the movie theaters. And do I need anything else? Yeah, I need Skittles. So... I will see next. So here's the deal. When you're done with this, this is now a checklist. So you can actually check these things off like that. So it's like kind of interactive. I think that's the trade-off from the fact that you can't actually draw on here. Um, over here, again, you can put uh, different things inside of there. Anywhere you want to put things. This works exactly the same way when I put this in here for meal planning, then I'll say done. And then inside of here, so each header just has its own regular text. And I think you could change that over here where we saw choose handwriting, uh, use handwriting for event titles. If I check that, I think it will change it. So if I do done, nope, didn't change it. Just kidding. <laughs> so we'll do spaghetti. Yeah, it's only going to let you do that uh, special text for the items and not for the headers, even though I could have swore that's what I said. Um, handwriting. Yeah, use handwriting for event titles. Maybe it's event titles. So let's go back here. Oh, yeah. So it did change our calendar. So if we go to our calendar now, it has changed all the text inside of there that pulled over from Google Calendar. It's actually pretty difficult to read, so I could see why over here in theme settings, it's something you can toggle off. Um, so if we go back to the calendar, yeah, now it's a little bit more legible. So there is that. Now, again, I think the nice part, I know everyone's hoping with these calendars, is that you can use the pencil. I don't even think we look at future features. That is still not a future feature, which really is what I think everybody wants. Um, and let's just try this one more time because maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. Did you see that? That list was not there. Okay, so start drawing and we're going to say a blue pen. And so you'll notice even though it's selected, nothing is happening. I know you're thinking, am I doing it wrong? I mean, maybe. <laughs> So you can't do anything with this pencil. However, if I change this over here to draw with finger, now, yes, it does work. I'm not really sure why that is, um, but, you know, I feel like this is pretty close to getting us to where, um, let's see some dotted lines, or maybe that's an eraser. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a selection tool. <laughs> so, I mean, you can at least write with your finger, I guess, inside of notes if that menu does pop up for you. Um, so, not sure why it wasn't there before. But that is everything inside of Artful Agenda. If you would like to start using ClickUp and your Google Calendar together inside of a digital planner view. Um, and again, you're kind of limited. You can add stickers, like over here. Um, but as far as like actually writing on it, it's not going to happen. And that's only because this has to have more functionality in it. Like I showed you before, where you actually have lists and you can check them off. And I don't think that would happen if it wasn't able to take text in and the water tracker.
<laughs> All right. Let me know what you thought. Um, I feel like this was a good workaround for where the technology is right now and where apps are. And if you are someone who creates and sells planners, this could be a really good opportunity for you to take what has been done inside of Artful Agenda and make it better. And again, pencil planner, I know it says you can, it has so many pretty pictures where you can write on it, um, but 100%, I promise it was just like this. It doesn't, it just doesn't work.